Oh, hello, hello, fellas. It's been a while since I've been... I've done a video. I've been mostly streaming... Uh, on Twitch. So, Savage and floor tanking and whatnot. Uh, and so today I'll bring you a video of an expert roulette. Hopefully we get some Lunar Subterrain, since I only have like a couple of videos on it. And of course I have to screw up my portrait. This is fine. Hi. Uh, so we're going as Brain Dead Cell, uh, Strong Independent Tank Warrior. Because we can make sure that we won't die in any shape or form. Mistake. I seem to be messing up massively. But this is fine. Well, the sage also seems to be healing me for insane amounts, so I still haven't popped blood rating. Like, there's no need if I'm not taking damage. Sage can actually heal for a lot without using DCDs. But Warrior can help sustain by itself. Kinda whatever. I really need to do two double hit now. Because I only have the 630 weapon. <laughs> What's the damage? I'm using it right now, I sh probably shouldn't have yet. There was really no need to. Eh. Whatever. Pop it. I still have so many cooldowns to use, but it doesn't really matter. I still pop my Rule of Battle. But it's not really healing me. I'm not seeing any shields pop out. It's probably just gear to oblivion. No, but eh, well, it's good. Good gear has good gear, but not gear to like base levels. So I don't know. <laughs> They're just gonna burst him down. I probably should have been saving some my infuriates or summoners. Eh, it's fine. Only expert, so whatever. Yeah, I'm on my alt, but I still need some causalities because I'm missing relics. Unlike on the Miko. I'm moving in slightly. There's actually no need to, but this way I can still hit Spectacles. Oh, he would have a uh, thingy. So here you can actually just solve the, the void dart that comes after without you go each on each corner. It should be fine. As long as people know, you don't really need to move for this. Just all stack one each each corner of the square and you're safe. Oh no, a tank buster. Whatever shall I do? The damage. <laughs> Being silly at this point. Oh, 
Oh. Why did I have reprisal on one? Well, that was a mistake. I meant to use reprisal there, because if you could do it late enough, you can. I think it. I think it goes along with both of them. Oh, trip to his primal rend. Rip. Rip prim primal rend. Rip, rip, rip. Now we just walk towards the next one. I would advise you not to pop your sprint. Aggro, especially with the summoner in our party. The Memoric of Darkness. Pop your primal rend in its face. Uh, see, now we lost some, actually lost some health, so Blood Wedding gets some use. <laughs> God, this is being silly. I'm not even popping cooldowns because there's actually no need to. Remember, you can use your stun for extra mitigation. Like I just did on this fellow. <laughs> the insane shields. Yeah, I'll always go for the chest. If you see my videos, you will know. I mean, you can even stand in AoEs, really. Especially with this party, where the, the site is actually just <laughs> killing for insane amounts. Even while doing up, just DPSing all the time. Yeah, I'm not even popping cooldowns because this there is no need to. See, my my trail of battle was too late. <laughs> the two, for him to have fun. <laughs> you can actually use Primal Ren to dodge that. <laughs> That's just hilarious. <laughs> One and that one like this. Um, sage. Oh, this is actually something I wasn't expecting. Generally, what I do as sage, I just stand there until it pops the um, the sewe. And then I just swing away. He kills away. Boom, boom, boom. Better. 
Yeah, hey, could have done one more GC. Could have been fine. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Summoner said he was sorry. It's like it's fine. That boss is a bit tricky to be honest, so actually pretty understandable. Because you need to watch at the look at the pillar. Generally when he starts doing a mechanic, uh, an exclamation point will show up. But you can actually just look at them and you see if that and that. Th those are gonna be dropping. But when you see him When you see him hitting them, uh, you can actually see that they're about to fall off. So, it's actually be fine. Oh, come on, just get back. Come on, come on, come on. That's it. But they command such and then the... Dodging there, you can just look and just move slightly, try to remember where he is going to be hitting. And use that, dodge the, the... Generally, you can just move towards one of the sides and you'll be completely safe. Generally, he generally doesn't do completely straight near the, the pillars. Generally. Not too sure if there's a pattern or a two that where he actually does. So don't quote me a hundred percent on that. <laughs> I'm just popping some cooldowns just because to show you how retarded it is if you actually get if you, if you actually use your cooldowns. It's like you really take no damage even without self any kind of self healing, especially with a healer like this. It's actually passive and heal passively healing you a lot with Cardia. He took the wrong res. What do you mean you took the wrong res? Ah, uh, should have popped Spring there before I started. Making sure I don't lose aggro, but. I'm not gonna have sprint all the way. <laughs> Unfortunate. Do you really want sprint for this? I remember you can always stun. Actually, made a I've made a mistake and should have maybe saved it for the round AoE he does. <laughs> it's fine. Hey, just feared before it could do anything. Whatever. I don't have some for that. Yeah, I generally just save all on this pack I always save my stun for that the, the gargoyle that we dealt with already. That he generally does a uh, a big round AoE with a run himself, which can get pretty annoying. So be it. I will fight you with all my strength. Oh, uh, really? Then let's fight, man. Oh, I won't need to do anything. Just be away if I pop. Just, um, pick it up. Yes. Sometimes my brain actually confuses this mechanic. I just go and eat both the AoEs and die. <laughs> Instead of dodging them both. It barely listening right here. So your samurai has some uptime. 
Get melees. Unless you can also pull it right all the way north, but I just don't like to do that. I need to pop shake it off to help with that AoE and <laughs> no one took damage. <laughs> ah, this is just silly to be honest at this point. Okay, here is gonna be cutting them in half, just showing out that that mechanic actually works. You can have its positional. Okay, this is gonna be the safe spot here on this pattern. You have easy access to your positionals. The samurai. Mm. I know he's gonna be teleporting here anyways. I'll not be bested. Not this day. Oh, here, just move away from that. Forward. If you pop sprint, you can easily get a TTD in there at the end. It's the best time to LB, but you should wait until the crowd nearly spawns so you can LB. Without taking damage. Oh, this is the same pattern as the first one, so we just move there. Waiting for him to do the pass, so. He's not moving. So, this was the Learners of Terrain as a warrior. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys on the next one, alright? Bye-bye.